good morning dear student today i am going to explain direct and inverse valuation this is chapter 10 it is same as the unitary method okay direct and inverse valuation the first is direct valuation when the two values increases or decreases simultaneously then it is called direct proportion when one value increases and the other decreases then it is called inverse variation then this shows shows opposite behavior for example if the cost of one toy is 100 rupees so the cost of five toys will be 500 for six toys it is 600 for seven toys it is 700 it means that the cost will increase with the increase in number of toys so it is the direct proportion okay next is indirect proportion what is indirect proportion when we walk with the speed of 10 km per hour then we can travel a distance in 30 minutes okay but when we increase it from 10 to 20 km per hour then we can convert we can cover the same distance in 15 minute it means that when we increase the speed then the time decreases so it is inverse variation okay so i'm going to you can solve this type of question by the unitary method but here i'm going to explain it the easiest way which i have already explained in ratio and proportion again i'm going to explain in the first exercise in 10a in 10a you have all the question of direct variation and in 10b all the question of inverse variation but but uh, when the question comes to your exam then you don't know that from which exercise it is so the easiest way first you read the statement and identify which type of variation it is okay for example in first question given that y is directly proportional to x means it is in direct variation y is equals to 40 x is equals to 200 we have y and x y is equals to 40 and x is equals to 200 find y when x is equals to 50 it is in direct proportion so write it as it is 40 by consider it is x is equals to 200 upon 50 by cross multiplication 200 x is equals to 15 into 40 so x is equals to 15 into 40 upon 200 this is 3 the value of x is 3 okay in second in first the force is not given so consider it as x x upon 18 is equals to 20 by 15 can get the value of x 20 by 15 is equals to 25 by y can get y 25 by value of y is equals to z upon 20 is the value of z okay now we have the third question Next we have question number three. In third question, Priya takes four hours in walking a distance of twenty kilometer. What distance would she cover in seven hours? We have the two values here. The first is the time, and the second is the distance. You write it like this. Okay, it will be the easiest question. Okay, in four hours. the distance is 20 km you have to get the distance in 7 hours let the distance be 6 x okay so by we can write if it is when we increase the time then the distance increases when we decrease the time then the distance decreases so we can write it as it is first you write it as direct variation how can you identify distance increases 
with time so it is direct variation so you can write is add this it is 4 upon 7 is equals to 20 upon x by cross multiplication 4x is equals to 20 into 7 so x is equals to 20 into 7 upon 4 this is 35 kilometer okay next we have other questions are also same uh, now I'm going to explain question number 8 okay all questions are same only digits are different in 8th question we have if a man working for 49 hours what is given time earns earning is given how much time is working 49 hours and he is getting rupees 1750 how much he will get in 27 hours let earning be x less time less earning so it is direct variation ok now write it as it is 49 by 27 is equals to 17 15 upon x by cross multiplication 49 x is equals to 27 into 17 15 so x is equals to 27 into 17 15 upon 49 let's simplify 7 7 is a 49 245 27 into 35 so x is equals to 945 so he will earn 945 rupees so i hope the other question you can solve easily if still you have confusion in any question then you can ask thank you